Hello friends, I am Sanjay Gupta. In this video, I am going to discuss about a program which is to perform linear search. So friends, the comment uh, shows the objective of the program uh, to perform linear search. Uh, linear search means we have to search a number whether it is available inside an array or not. Uh, in second statement, a header file is written stdr.h for printf scanf. Then in main function, I have used various instructions in which first is variable declaration. Here I have used uh, array declaration and other variable declarations. Then this printf statement will print the message enter 10 numbers for array. Then this for loop will be used uh, to read those 10 numbers from the user. And scanf will store those numbers uh, inside 10 different indexes of the array. Then using this printf scanf, I am uh, asking enter the number you want to search from the user. So the user will enter a particular number which uh, will be uh, searched inside the which will be searched inside the array and that number is stored inside n. So a will contain 10 elements and n variable will be containing the number which user want to search inside the array. Now this for loop is used to check whether that number is available inside the array or not. So for this purpose, this uh, loop is initialized with 0. Condition is i less than 10. So this loop will repeat 10 times. So first, uh, if condition will be checked, uh, it is checking a of i with n. So i is 0. It means a 0, that is uh, first number of the array, will be compared with n. So if a of 0 is equal to n, then this f will become 1. Uh, initially it is 0. So if this condition is true, then only f will become 1. And we have used here break. Why break? Because if number is found, then we do not have to repeat this loop anymore. But if this condition is false, then uh, this uh, i++ plus plus will be uh, executed. Then this condition will be checked. And again, this if condition will be checked. So if this condition is true, then only this for loop will be uh, terminated. Otherwise, this loop will repeat 10 times. So after completion of this loop, we have to check the value of f. It will be either 0 or 1. If uh, in the above loop, the number is not available, then uh, this if condition will not be true uh, anytime and f will not be 1. So uh, if condition is false all the time, then f will remain 0. And if the condition is true uh, at any point of time, then f will become 1. So if f is 1, then we can say that number is available. So this printer will print this message on console. And if this condition is false, it means f contains 0. So else will print number is not available on the console. So f is playing very important role. If uh, number is available, then value of f will be 1. Otherwise, it will be 0. So after this explanation, I am compiling this code. Uh, it is showing uh, 0 error and warnings. Now I am executing the code. It is asking for 10 numbers. So I am entering 10 different numbers. Now suppose I want to search 6 in the array. So it is available and the uh, output is number is available which is also correct. Now I am again executing this code. Again it is asking for 10 numbers. Again I am entering 10 different numbers. This time I am searching 22. And it is showing number is not available. And you can also see that in 1 to 10, 22 is not available. So this uh, program is working properly. It means uh, with the help of this program, we are able to find out uh, or we are able to perform a linear search operation on array. So in case of linear search, uh, each element starting from the zero index is compared with the number which we want to search. And if number is available, then uh, the process will be terminated in between. If number is not available, then all the numbers are compared with that number. 
so implement this code on your laptop or desktop so that you can understand the program very well these are my details you can contact me you can write any email for queries you can visit my website you can download my app that is stack ms it contains various tutorials regarding c c++ java php etc you can download P ppts of various programming languages uh, by uh, using this link tutorials.techms.in you can read various books uh, regarding programming languages you can watch my uh, youtube channel you can also subscribe it uh, here various programming related videos are available which will be beneficial for you Thank you for watching this video.